Hi, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people. Welcome back to your favorite show. I call it the number one show. Not so complicated. A show brought to you by Innovation Consortium. A show, like I already say, breaks down everything to a layman's understanding. And to let you know, we need to hit over a million subscribers. So endeavor to go check out our YouTube channel at Innovation Consortium. Please make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Remember, we are now bringing only the best, nothing but the best. We are the Innovation Consortium. Endeavor to check us out on all our social media handles at Innovation Consortium everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. LinkedIn at Innovation Consortium. Yes, and beautiful people, will come with me, my panel today. On my right, Mr. Juko Steven. How are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? Kasai <laughs> David Mweko not see. <laughs> yes, we have the guest today. We are going to get out you people. So I won't say your name, but glad to have you on the show. Yes, and then D Mama Rejoka. Never been serious. What's in the cup? Inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> and then finally, Bob One Monarch, Byron the Dreamer. How are you, sir? As usual, life. The spirit is high. I like the vibes. And the topic today is about circumcision. Oh yes, are you circumcised? Is your husband circumcised? Is your boyfriend circumcised? Am I circumcised? I doubt about that. So, we are here to find out what circumcision is all about. So gentlemen, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? What is your name? Because I don't know what you do in particular, but every time I'm with you, people call you doctor. And then when I go to your home, I fly in eggs and pork, and some I won't say any. Na zoba ngambi oziluunda. So, tell me, what is your name and who 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 are you? My name is Nogamre Brian, and my side hustle is farming. And side hustle. I, I have that passion for farming, but the reason why we are here is to talk about circumcision. Oh yes. In the first case, we need to know what circumcision. So circumcision is your main hustle. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. My main hustle is farming. But before we go that far, who is Brian? Uh, did you go to school? Uh, where did you hail from? Uh, do you even have siblings? Uh, you know, before we get to... Who is <laughs> Okubanga I'm going to say my name. Yes. Uh, I'm a born of Weyogere. Oh. Who attended my primary in... Uh, actually, at uh, Kamuri Primary School, later on joined uh, Chambogo. Kamuri? Kamuli primary. primary. Does it still exist? Yeah, it still exists. Oh, and okay. It's stronger than ever. Oh, okay. Uh, I went to Chambogo College, which is now is Chambogo SS. We used to be boys only at the school. Mm. And there was a lot of fun which we used to have being a single sex school. But of late, it is a mixed school. Later on, we went to So they are having more fun. They're having <laughs> more fun than you used to. The <laughs> Midland. <laughs> We don't really yeah, say. Hey. Uh, later on, I enjoyed the Saint Kalemba. Mm. Before joining uh, a medical school, that is uh, Mbale School of Clinical Physics. Mm -hmm. I've done several upgradings here and there. So, upgrading is in what? The wardrobe or in medical? Oh, education. And my current specialization is anesthesia. What is that? Guys, which make people go to sleep before they get operated. In city, sir. Yes, if someone is shouting, yeah. I'm serious. Wait. <laughs> but whatever surgery does is work, then we go. But I, Wait, I you make someone sleep. Mm. That's what you do. That's in the simple terms. Eh? Then someone you does the surgery. Which face? Which face? Sleep by the work tone. This is only to wake up. Uh, yes, look at you, the fool has sleep. Okay. <laughs> That's the uh, Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. We have done a lot of trainings and I'm a trainer of trainers. Mm -hmm. In this field, circumcision basically. Before we go any further, Brian, yes. uh, thank you for the small intro. But again, 
Chicho Sinzo Funam, side hustle or the main hustle? Because the president is forcing us to go, not forcing, he's advising that we go into farming. But again, you say it's a side hustle. Uh, there's a saying in Yungi is a Tiba I don't are proud that I've got a lot in farming, eh? but all in all, in all, I'm going to take a look at the qualification here where he leans on. That in case we are in an era and age whereby specialization is the way to go. But also, I'm a specialized farmer. There is no school where people go to farm. There are farmers who are teaching schools that are farming. Yes, so there is a passion. My passion is farming. But when we go now education wise, eh, the passion is medical and you can't become a medic minus attending a medical school. As you can't be an engineer at Ogenze Komo Engineering School. Every site has an engineer. And I can't tell you, we're busy, we're going to do better. Now let's go into circumcision. Uh, what is it about circumcision? What is circumcision anyway? Now, uh, circumcision is one of those approved programs by the Ministry of Health. And uh, to keep it simple, it's the, so it is the surgical removal of a for a skin. Hold on, our daddy visor, Tom T. Sagno. It's a surgical removal. <laughs> Meaning that eh, you go to theater, you are uh, worked on in a safe place, and you are done a circumcision. Now, as much as our colleagues also, the Bagisus, do their traditional way, eh, this is also called circumcision. But as ministry, we say safe male circumcision. So, and by definition, it's a surgical removal. As much as also the Bagisu do it the other way, it so is not safe. The Bagisu thing is not safe. To some extent, people have got issues. But as uh, one of the programs of ministry which have been approved, eh, we call it safe male circumcision. Now, I'm talking on behalf of the ministry because I'm one of the guys who make it happen in the ministry. We've taken part in trainings in the annual of... Uh, Building capacity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh. are there various types of circumcision? Uh, circumcision, mm. as I've already told you, is a surgical removal. Now, there are so many ways of removing that for our skin. Now, the ones which have for been up of the penis. We are talking about the penis. Oh, okay. Now, there are many ways which have been studied and as ministry we have approved the dorsal slit. A dorsal slit is a technique of itself, but to keep it simple, you just need to know that it's a surgical removal of the foreskin. The nitty gritty is of how things are done. Because before we do a circumcision on you, there are some protocols, steps which we are supposed to take you through. Of which, for someone who is truly actually interested, I wouldn't be... It, this wouldn't be the best platform because they are models, they counsel you, they prepare you to know what actually you are seriously going into. So for the beauty of uh, not so complicated, we need to know the advantages, why should someone get circumcised in the first case. Because for today's uh, shooting we are supposed to talk about early infant, which is very new in uh, Uganda. So now you're having a program now. So being new in Uganda, we have done some training, but the scale up has not yet taken up very fast, yeah, and infant, uptake is still very low. Infant. Yes. Yeah, so Mr. Brand, yes. uh, kindly take us through uh, the benefits of circumcision. Now, the circumcision studies were done in Uganda, uh, basically at Rakai, the sciences program, and it was approved that uh, when someone gets circumcised, he has 60% chances of reducing uh, or acquiring HIV. So that is the, para the very important reason why 60% of acquiring HIV. The others come on having, uh, they are just additionals. So basically in Uganda we do circumcision for HIV. And the uh, ministry and uh, the donors put in money for HIV prevention. That is the very first important so message I we need. circumcised, my chances of getting HIV are reduced. reduced to 60%. To 60%. Uh, no, but on top of that still, yeah, we need to add on... the city original. <laughs> <laughs> so, now when you get circumcised, it's not a bulletproof that now you can sleep around anyhow. Eh? Because there are also other uh, things which you are supposed to add on like, eh? if at all you don't know the serial status of the spouse, you condomize on top of the what? Of the circumcision. After all, the condom is not a hundred or so percent. 
and the ABC. <laughs> the government applauds the uh, ABC, which is abstainance, but if at all you can't abstain like my colleague here, <laughs> From you alcohol, become no? baseful, eh? If at all also being faithful is also hard, you condomize. <laughs> now, minister has added on the fourth component, which is what? Circumcision. And trust me, it has gotten us results. That's why actually our prevalence has drastically reduced. Mm. So it yes. is ABCC. Yes, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's now there are there are. But again, the, uh, you know, statistics came out that uh, in Barra, Barra had the highest number of HIV uh, uh, patients. Uh, is it that uh, my people from that region are? Uh, uh, haven't done. <laughs> no, these two years of COVID, things have <laughs> have changed eh? because of the hassles we have, with the consequences, the co the constraints we've been we've been going through. So the studies are still going on to see the impact of COVID. Maybe, but it's one of what was hit by the COVID saga that the prevalence has somehow increased. But I'm, I don't have recent data, so I wouldn't comment so much on that. But generally, they say. The prevalence has reduced. So any other advantages apart from now? The other advantage is the cleanliness bit of it. It promotes mm. good hygiene. Eh? The majority of men don't know how to shower. Oh. Eh? They think when you put soap in a sponge, you are good to go. You scrub yourself and you are done. Yet the rightful way should be you retract the foreskin. Basically, you wash inside and out. Of which many people don't have that time. Does that mean when you are circumcised, you use this time? You are much more cleaner. You you cleaner. Time you <laughs> it might be the case also. Then the other thing would be like there is a study which was done eh, that uh, it reduces on acquisition of cancers, transmission of cancers. Mm. Yes, cervical cancers precisely. There is a scenario whereby, eh, like when you men transmit cancers like that. And also, oh, getting of the penile cancers, the cervical cancers, eh, also reduce. Then the one which is much more important next to the HIV prevention is the STIs. The sexually transmitted diseases are also reduced when someone is what? Circumcised. It doesn't mean that you totally don't get HIV, the STIs, but you get, but there are chances of you transmitting them are what? Are at lower. So when I circumcise, I become the keeper of these diseases. Mm, <laughs> you find that that's what I <laughs> There might not be a possibility, eh? because when once you get circumcised, eh? the physiology which takes place, the penis tends to get some hardening, of which the perforation, fusion of those uh, microorganisms which cause infection, they reduce. Wow. Yes. So we wouldn't like to say that the Muslims don't totally transmit, because for them they are circumcised at quite an early age. But they also get, but it is reduced. The chances of getting those conditions are also reduced. There are no leisure, there are no pleasure benefits of being circumcised. They are there. A circumcised man and a circumcised one. Eh? May women will tell you better that. How at can least, you eh? confirm this? There's a friend of mine who told me once get circumcised, the energy reduced. Mm, the, 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 now he's going for kukumanga. <laughs> <laughs> There's a school of thought which says like that, but trust in science, it is not true. The People level, think. Eh? The level of feeling. When they get circumcised, they go longer eh, in the action, but it's not true. It's all about the skill, I think. <laughs> and also, what is the goal? You go. <laughs> the goal might not be going longer. Yeah. <laughs> Second, the circumcision doesn't prolong your sex drive. That's what I want to make you clear and loud. Mm -hmm. So when you are stressed, you know HIV and you know what happens. Once you get infected, you are, you, you are, you are going to be with the disease for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Even despite taking the other visit nicely. So STDs must be treatable, but they also leave scars on your body, which is not, also not good. Cancer is not treatable, but also the hygienic part of it is very important. So the, the what? Cervical cancers, the cancers are not treatable. They would say they are treatable once spotted early, but the majority of us have a tendency and the fact that we have a poor seeking behavior. So we tend to go to the hospitals when it's quite too late. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and uh, could there be uh, any disadvantages of uh, circumcision? Mm, maybe when we have got it from a person who doesn't really know how to do it. Mm. And sometimes, you know, it's like as I've told you, before we circumcise you, we are supposed to prepare you. We cancel you, we examine you, and we tell you the do's and the don'ts. Because once we have circumcised you, there are days we are supposed to go without sex. That's ideally six season. weeks. <laughs> to give six the weeks. penis enough time to heal. Six weeks. Yeah, we say six weeks. Oh. <laughs>
Yes. Six weeks. That six is weeks. like two years. <laughs> no, one month and a half. <laughs> that is like two years in South Africa. <laughs> 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 that is like two years in South Africa. That is America. one thing you do you. once in the while, eh? And actually, you do it once for the rest of your life. You'll have I it as long as you want. In two years. By the mention. <laughs> no, you do it. Yes. By the mention of six weeks, yeah. I can tell who's not circumcised on this platform. Now, when your you, when your girlfriend yeah, you follows the sick, what do you do? Can't you give him a break for the, the two that months? That is a natural thing. Which sickness? I do yeah. you. <laughs> we have a married man here. <laughs> now, when they tell you that, you see, I've gone to, 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 to attend to I've my relatives. I've seen people hmm? crossing the Red Sea Store. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's happened. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, so no, the disadvantage is you're still telling us. The disadvantage would be when someone has done it not rightly. Eh? Like any other wound, it can go septic, but it rarely happens. Mm. But once you, are, you do or you adhere to what we have told you, things are likely to fall into, into place. And we've registered very few adverse events since circumcision started in 2008 mm. up to date. It's been a success. Yes. Okay, and uh, then uh, earlier on you talked about uh, infant uh, or early circumcision. Uh, early males. Uh, so we Who call is it eligible for, uh, for circumcision? How early? Now there are, there are two. How early and how late? Now we have adult circumcision. The one which we have told you the major reason why we do circumcision is HIV prevention. And that is what the IPs put in money. We circumcise the sexually active beginning with 14 years and above. Now there is a new, there is a new program which has started which is called... Uh, early infant male circumcision, EIMC. Mm? Mm. So that one is basically for pediatrics. Of late, since two, uh, since okay. two zero eight. Uh, and you complicate that. What is pediatrics? You I'm going to simplify. Okay. Now, the of late, we have started circumcising children. In this case, infants. An infant is someone between zero days and uh, one year. That is one we are basically now targeting. They are very easy. They have very few complications. <laughs> we would like actually, before even he leaves the hospital, <laughs> eh? we've seen it very simple. He has no name. We want the already. Yes. Actually, in other countries, they are doing it. And they have registered very good results. Mm. And, from co and from comparison, someone who has been circumcised when he's still very young, and that one has been done when he's an adult, eh? the cosmetic output is far, far better. And actually, even the, co the, healing, the healing process eh, for children is much shorter. And, and, uh, and uh, the, the process, stress. yes. Uh, even for, uh, for infants, it's medical. It's, not this it's medical take still. Take to the shake, take to the uh -uh. So. Well, Actually, with us, as much as the shakes tell the mothers to hold, pin the babies down, eh, mm. ours we give you anesthesia. And anesthesia is still not so complicated. It's a Vaseline, which we smear on the penis of the boy. And we leave it to stay there for 30 minutes. After which, even when you bring a panga, the boy wouldn't feel any pain. Oh, really? Yes. I'm giving a scenario because we don't necessarily use pangas. Eh? But uh, <laughs> the device which we use to take off that excess for our skin eh, is called the Morgan clamp. Like so I'm trying to give you an, an, an uh, I'm trying to make totally your yeah. anxiety that it is quite painless. So you put your... Now we put, a, uh, we, put a, <laughs> we put a Vaseline, the mother continues to suck. Actually we apply the anesthesia when the baby is staying on the baby's lamp. Oh. Then we wait for... Mama, that is home one away. So you apply. No take a because majority of babies, mothers will testify to you, eh? it quite takes them quite many years to start seeing the head of the gland. The head of the penis is called the gland. So in this case, because the glands can't be seen easily, we apply a cream on the penis. Then you wait, the cream stays on the penis for 30 minutes. Then beyond which, it is quite painless if at all even you pinched with your hands. So the baby basically is in a comfortable place with them. And, and the, the other advantage with this early infant is it is bloodless, no bleeding. There's no stitching. There's no injection for killing anesthesia as for adults we do. Because even in adults, what I hadn't told you, we work on, we work on them when it's painless. Eh? So we give them anesthesia to kill the pain. In this case, for the children, for the pediatrics, for the infants, we don't give them, there's no injecting those babies. So we just put, us yeah, for the boy, for the men, for the adults, the 14 and above, eh, we have to give you an injection, there's unfortunately. No it is a cream, but that one is also another time for itself. Eh? There's a new method called the Shangrin. That's where that cream works. Where do you inject? 
at the base of the penis, not the head. Yes. We inject at the base of the penis and the whole organ goes numb. Eh? It's basically, it will be painless to pinch. Now, since now we are talking about early infant, eh? we are using a cream. There are no injections. So there is a device called the Morgan clamp, which I think will be showed later. Eh? So after putting on the cream, we wait for 30 minutes. Then you, you insert on that Morgan clamp. But if all that is done, eh, like any other operation, patients or clients in this case are supposed to be examined to see how fit they are to be done what? A circumcision. Because not every person qualifies for sure. And not, so, and, and not all so penises that's where are the same. Safe comes from. Yes. Yeah. So once we see that the person is okay, he, has, he hasn't got any contraindication to circumcision. Can we have, can we have a little bit of those? Uh, Con are, the conditions which are no goals. For them to be said out, yes. There are no goals. There are no goals on. Yes. Now I'll begin with the adult because the early infant came from the adult circumcision. Now, even for the adults, before we circumcise you, we're supposed to first examine you. The examination first begins with the history taking. Hmm? We ask you questions. Why are you pointing at me? You seem not to be circumcised. Okay, very important this one is circumcised. <laughs> so we first examine you. We, f we do first history taking to see how red are you. If at all you have come to be circumcised with another intention. Yeah? So we don't like to set the bar so high for you. Eh? That if at all you don't achieve like one one my colleague said, you perform longer. If at all you have done, <laughs> yeah, done a circumcision. So the case, with the complaints. Now some people will come to you eh, when they have an anomaly. They have a swelling on the penis thinking that circumcision is the way to go. Hmm? So well, there are times when actually we ask you if at all you have any bleeding tendencies. There are people actually when once get a cut, it's so hard for them to have That's controlled bleeding. Give, yeah? give they call that hemophilia. Yes, that's a medical condition of blood yes. failing to what? No, you see. No, you being see near me, eh? <laughs> you think you can also be like me. So, so we ask you some few questions, eh? And if at all you are good to go there, then we go to physically examine you. Now, like all penises are not the same, as much as some women would say penises are the same. Huh? Some have big, others small, short, wide, and the like. Are there are those that so, have to. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never come of one. <laughs> so in this case, we'll I'm examine. Hmm? <laughs> so not every person really qualifies. Now one of those conditions where we don't qualify someone to be done a circumcision, eh? the, when you look at the head of the penis, called which now in this case medically called the glands, the urethral opening should be at the tip. Now in case that opening is opening from below, it's called the hypospadia, so we don't. Even when it's opening up, it's called the pispadia. Sure don't so we don't. This, eh? And that's what I'm talking about, <laughs> the penis. Eh? The, yeah. uh, the urethral opening on top. Mm. So we don't. Now, the other thing is, eh? Should, there are those guys which actually sometimes they are having a condition whereby um, <coughs> uh, the purpose itself eh? is abnormal. Now, the abnormality about that would depend. Uh, it would be nice to be explained when actually you are seeing those pictures, eh? There are guys who have some glands which are like divided. The gland is a little bit divided. So all in all, we don't circumcise an abdominal penis. Even when, because uh, the skin we so cut off. So length is not a measure for abnormality. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but again, but by 20 inches, but okay. Again, but again, but again, but again, yes? People that are do uh, uh, enlargements, penis enlargements. Yes. Uh, are very good. The man said the length and the size is okay. It is okay. So good. But about <laughs> those guys who do the <laughs> penis enlargements, I don't know even how they work, but we hear they are there. But for us, size is not an issue. Be it small or big, so long as it is banger. normal. You have a banner. <laughs> you get it? If ah. it refuses, you bite. <laughs> <laughs> now we teach you, we take you through how to, be, how to handle yourself when you have been just got a circumcision. For the adult people, We'll tell you to. We'll try to tell you take a break from the heavy works as what you are doing. Like if I told you been fetching water, making bricks, splitting firewood, we'll tell you take a break for like a week or two. But these things of border border riding, office works. Eh? Those, no, you can at least taking a break for only a week is not so much. Second, the light works we agree. Eh? If I told you to fetch water, don't use the twenty jerry can the other side. At least ten ten eh? will work for you. Uh, riding a bicycle is okay. Splitting firewood will tell to resist a bit because people are a little bit not so conscious about themselves. Eh? So we tell them at least for one week, take a break from those works and we we'll see what to do. Then they will put on a, ba a bandage for you 
which bandage is going to be removed after two days, beyond which you don't put on anything. That is now safe male circumcision. Now, when I go now to the pediatric type of circumcision, children at that time, they are basically in the, even on the mother's laps. And the reason why we now we had want to promote pediatric circumcision, eh? uh, the fact that children take shorter to heal, and secondly, eh, they are, it's not so complicated. Because even someone who doesn't have so many skills in surgery can do it. We are trying current now to teach midwives to do that circumcision because it's a cream, no injection. Eh? One of the early adverse events which we got in the adult circumcision, eh, because we are giving injections, eh, some drugs might escape and have access to the blood vessels and cause us issues. In this case, it is a cream. And from my life experience, I've never seen someone reacting to that cream. Now, the fact that now when we try to enroll it out, it would be like we after applying the anesthesia, we have examined the baby. Uh, since we are working on uh, pediatrics, we don't circumcise uh, an underweight baby. Now, a pediatric, is uh, they are, they, those are the young children. Now, the early infant is a subsection of a pediatric. So we ideally circumcise one to one. We don't go beyond one and a half years. Because the method, since there is no stitching, and uh, the principle of how it works is by pressure. So basically occluding those small blood vessels which haven't got enough pressure to open. So it is quite simple. So what we do since they are very young, the penis doesn't, it's not so highly vascularized with the pulsating arteries. Eh? You get it, that's why we want to do that. It's not yet pissed. And secondly, <laughs> the way we take, the way mothers are told to take care of the umbilical cord would be basically the same way we take care of our penis. You don't add on any medicine at all. The only thing maybe what we give you is Vaseline. And the Vaseline which we, we approved was a blue seal. They are going to show you at a later time. Because mm -hmm. it's a blue seal because that hasn't got any additives in it. Take it. So, but when you go out in communities, eh, blue seal, my fatal is out of reach. We tell the mothers to bring the vaccine they use at home. Because all skills, if at all in the family, they are found of using baby nyunya. We, f we all go with baby Some nyunya. mothers are bleaching, <laughs> my friends. No. <laughs> now, for those who are bleaching, we don't want any vaccine which has got any additives in it. Yeah? Yes, bro. Uh, thanks so much. And uh, it seems to be a very uh, good, uh, wonderful service. So tell me how you can be accessed. Where can I get the services? Uh, if I have any queries, how can I reach out? Well, thank you, Brian. As I've told you, we are, I'm a national trainer. So we trained a few, but the funding got lost. So the few... Got, got lost? Okay. <laughs> we lost funding. I told you I work for the ministry. Yeah, yes. Okay, okay. We lost Come funding, we lost funding, we lost funding for the early yeah. infant. I don't want a drone. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when there's okay. funding, eh, there are there, there, people who got a chance to be trained in early infant pro application eh, are out there. And actually when you go to the government hospitals in Wachiso, you will get in a few places, but if at all you don't get, we do both static and the outreach. The outreach will be more or less like the private setting. Someone calls you, you go to a nearby facility which is nearby, and we circumcise. And second, these are type of circumcision which sometimes can be even done at home because it's not so tedious. So assuming, mm -hmm. you know, we all get the but some of us have lost, have lost trust in government institutions. Mm. Now, assuming I want to call you mm -hmm. and have a client for you, yes. are you available to do the service and how flexible is the service? Do I need to look for you in Yokafunda somewhere or this is a service I can access somewhere or you can even come to me? How does that work? Thank you for that question. Now, we do private arrangements. Mm. Yeah, and as I don't told you, I'm a civil servant working at Buambo. Now, if I told you get me at the government facility, the nitty gritties can be told. Because since it's not part of the package of the service provisions at the government setting, eh, it's a one-to-one -one arrangement whereby we agree to offer for your service. Not for free, but at a small charge. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the private practice, we have a medical center called Tobia Medical Center. Now, it has got a branch both in Weogere and in Gayaza. Now, in between there, it's a matter of saying you can come at my place, then that one will charge you the fuel and the, the rest of the things fall in place. And even the child. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, but for those who want to still access us in the government settings, we can. But privately, I will run a facility called uh, Tobia Medical Center, of which one of the services we offer is our infant male what? circumcision. So when you give us a call, we can see whether you can come to us or we can come to you. Yeah, and then, and then we... <laughs> <laughs> so I think people will be asking, uh -huh, Brian, where is, what is your phone number? If I told I needed to know the nitty gritties of what? And we are going to put them on the show. Uh -huh. So I think when you it's call, eh, the, the rest of those uh, <laughs> communications will be discussed there and then. So but what I can tell you, it is safe. No, pro no person has ever got any problem. And children actually. Is this burning question? I've yes. been seated on, so I can't even in this room. Mm -hmm. We've been hearing of female genital mutilation. Uh, mutilation. Yes. So, okay, the locals call it circumcision. You people call it mutilation. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you shed a light on that? Uh, my opening remarks was that uh, circumcision is the surgical removal of the forward skin of the penis. Now, when it comes to, the, uh, to uh, our colleagues there, the, the female, eh? they don't have a penis. But ideally, what they cut off is more or less like the clitoris. And as minister, <laughs> we don't support genital mutilation. As much as it's a tradition in the Sebei, yeah? mm. but as minister, we don't support. You know, this show is international. It's not, it's not only the Sebei. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't support and uh, we don't actually support. Okay. You, as, you personally, can you give us your opinion? Is it okay? Someone might come. It's not okay, actually, it's inhumane. Many people have come out and shared eh, the consequences of that. But it's not good. From what I know, what they cut, no. And we, as the show, okay. we say no to female genital mutilation. Yes. But again, someone behind the camera had a question that if I got an accident and <laughs> I lost the power skin, is it that circumcision? <laughs> no, that is not circumcision. <laughs> It is a trauma, actually. Yeah. When actually you are taken to it's the casualty trauma. <laughs> oh, it's a trauma to the penis. Yeah. So which, when you go to the casualty of any hospital they have taken you, eh, they will basically switch back that thing because we don't do circumcision. Eh? Circumcision is not an emergency. So in case your penis got an accident in that, in that way, we just repair back the prepis, we don't do the circumcision. You will tell us better where you got it. <laughs> Yes, sir. so our dear viewers and listeners, that's been it for today. I hope you now know what circumcision is all about. I hope you're ready to go, check out yourself, check yourself in, get circumcised and check yourself out. It's Tobia, Brian will work on you. Or I hope you got the contacts on the, on the screen. Remember, we are Innovation Consortium. It is not so complicated. And on parting shot from Bob and Monarch, tell us what you've learned. Are you circumcised anyway? That is a person. Uh, uh, it's not a person. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Uh, <laughs> it's about to be yes or no? Doctor, patient, <laughs> confidentiality. No, uh, it's... My part is short. <laughs> uh, I think they should do add in the, one of the disadvantages on the list. <laughs> <laughs> add in the disadvantages on the list. What? Without season, it's not. Six weeks. <laughs> the staffing <laughs> period. Six weeks, that is two years. That is a disadvantage. Six weeks, oh. not six. As the wound heals, but it's not a short period. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you, Bobon Monarch, the dreamer. Uh, dear Mama, the joker, tell us. Yeah, I've learned something new today, actually. Mm. Mm. But, all you know, eh? I'm yeah. sending you a few clients. Consider you're good at Kintu Kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> Kickbacks are allowed. <laughs> Yeah, Actually, yeah. when you organize your community, okay. we come, of course, we share. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We are not so sure he won't be part of the class. <laughs> <laughs> I have a proven record, I even have witnesses. <laughs> People are allowed to mobilize communities, we come oh, and yeah. work on them. We are trying to make it also ends meet here. Eh? Oh, yeah. So there is here sorting yeah, ourselves. Yeah. We'll yes. Otherwise, maybe uh, for, uh, for our viewers out there. Probably today, uh, this show changed a bit of what it usually is. And we advise you probably, also if you have a story to tell, you a topic to clarify about, a topic to make so not complicated to everyone out there. Richard, Feel free to reach out. Richard, mm. Just brand. don't call at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you uh -huh. David.
Alright, last words. Last words. Mm. Um, the time I've been in circumcision, eh? Now with this new technique of early infant, me actually support parents out there to take it up more than the adult because the advantage is actually much more than even in adults. And the way when it is done, uh, my colleagues are told the six weeks is too much. Now this is a boy. And actually the advantages of adult circumcision also, as much as this is also a, a younger baby, eh? he's also going to at one time to grow into an adult. So you save him the hassle. Six Over the six yes. weeks, <laughs> but the healing process is much faster and easier. Yes. So the way you manage the umbilical cord is the same way you are going to manage with this. No drugs are at all given. Maybe, uh, yes, Brian. Uh, before we get to Juxa, uh, for those uh, of you that are scared about the injection, uh, I once read about something that doesn't even involve injections, but for adults. Yes, it is there. Uh, could you, like, in one minute, clarify about that? Now, the same method that we use for the adults, the same cream we use eh, for the children. Mm. It's the same cream we use for adults. Now, because of the... So high, there's no piercing. There's, there's no, no piercing. Eh? Mm. The same cream, we use that one. We also take 30 minutes. Now, with that one, we add on another gadget called the Shangreen. It's a new innovation by the Chinese, of which once we, have, we first measure your penis to see the appropriate ring which is going oh, to fit. Very small. Uh, we have every size. So we look for the appropriate yep. ring. So we had the challenge with that one, you have to move with that ring for a week. Later on you come, we remove it, Definitely. and circumcision will be done. The biggest is size A, eh? <laughs> and trust me, it is hard to get that size A. Eh? <laughs> eh, people look big, but they have, they have tiny things. <laughs> so at least eh, we are proud that there is a new method on board. That for those who are piercing. piercing, yes. Yeah. There is no even stitching. But because of the many blood vessels which are now on an adult penis, the ring no is stitching, there. No stitching, no, no injection. Yeah, yeah. So you stay with that ring for a week. But the ring is also pocketable. You can still be putting on such a jean like me, and your ring you are moving around with it. No putting it on. No putting on skirts or big baggy shorts. Oh, oh. Yes. Thanks for the care. All right, Brian. Thank you, uh, Jiko. Uh, in a second. Yeah. Uh, you know, you were talking about uh, other topics. Maybe we should discuss how we reach middle income status. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel I am there yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 the president said we are in middle income. Yeah. Papa Vigana said we are not there. So it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> we are yet to uncomplicate that. <laughs> so, but that I believe everybody should have a, a side hustle. If I told you actually to be there in the middle state. Are you state. at middle income? Are you at middle income? I might be there because my farm also adds on something to my income. My income. I'm there. Yeah, I was just reading. I like the history. That circumcision is the first uh, human surgical procedure. procedure. Hey. It's been around for uh, for a very long time. The ancient Egyptians used to be even in the Bible. Um, yeah, then the Bible, the covenant between Abraham and <sighs> and the Jews. So it's, it's been around for a long time, and yeah, that's my part in short. Oh, interesting to read that it's the first one. So Medical, the like it has made now safer. When you read the Egyptians, how they used to do it. Eh? Yeah, they had the panga. They, they had the panga. You could put it uh, on the wooden on shopping board and pa. Yeah. They never claimed it was safe. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it, was it was a procedure. It was a procedure. Actually, it was a mark yeah. to show that okay. so and so has it done. Right? All right. Thank you so much, dear viewers, beautiful listeners. That's all we had for you today. I hope you're ready to go have your boyfriend circumcised. Go get yourself circumcised, and from here. I'm going for a double circumcision. But remember, above all, not so complicated has been here. We're about to make a year. But all we need is over 2 million, over 5, 10, 20 million subscribers. So endeavor to go on our YouTube channel and click on that button. Endeavor to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we like how you are supporting it. We like the viewership. Thank you so, so, so much. And without you, we cannot be the innovation consortium. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Brian Lyon, and trust me, the next time I come on the show, I'll be circumcised. See you. <laughs> Ciao.